Excellent. Welcome everybody to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show, whatever we should call the show, uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> my name is Esa Yuvonen. Uh, uh, I'm a principal product manager for Microsoft. And this time we're going to talk about something really cool related on agents and SharePoint and Viva Connection and ACs and cards and many, many other things. Um, and just to clarify, what is the feature and how does it actually work? We have the feature PM, only PM here, who's Luca. So Luca, can you do a quick intro as who you are? Thank you, Beza. Hi, everybody. Hi, Beza. My name is Luca Bandinelli. I am a PM in the uh, OneDrive SharePoint organization, and I own, from the PM standpoint, the developer platform for SharePoint, uh, Viva Connections, and Microsoft 365 overall. Yes. Now, uh, and in this case, we, we're talking about something which is combining the Viva connection and cards and SharePoint and agents, right? Can you do a quick intro as well? What, what are we, what is the new thing? Precisely. So uh, we shipped this uh, new capability called Viva Connections a while ago. And one of the power of Viva Connection is that thanks to the SharePoint framework, developers and customers can create their own cards, which we call adaptive card extensions. And one of the things that we have done recently is to be able to teach the Microsoft 365 Copilot and SharePoint agents that there is this concept of Viva Connections cards, and those cards can be used in the interaction with the SharePoint agent by the user. So what will happen is that the user is interacting with SharePoint agent. And as long as the agent understands that there is an adaptive card extension in Viva Connection dashboards that can fulfill the user requests, the card will be part of the conversation and the user will be able to interact with the card directly from the SharePoint agent. Yeah, and we're gonna show this in practice in a live demo in a second, but just to be clear there actually, this does work with any card, so right? So it doesn't have to be SPFX, but it includes SPFX cards. Is that correct? That's an excellent question. You are absolutely correct. So it works with every card. It works with card that Microsoft provides out of the box. It works with cards that the customer deployed in their environment. Um, and the beauty we think of this capability is that you do not have to change anything in the cards. Every card that you are already deployed and is already available in your Viva Connection dashboard will automatically be included as part of this workflow. Really cool. So as a developer, if you have already implemented something to the Viva Connection dashboard, you don't, again, just repeating, you don't have to do anything. All of a sudden, those cards will be available within a SharePoint agent experience. Exactly. Exactly. Cool. That's actually really, really cool. And, and, and that's basically the basic, it's, it's awesome. It actually increases the value of those investments of us significantly because now the same cards can be also in agents. And to be fair, there's another feature which is rolling out pretty soon where, where those cards uh, can be exposed in any SharePoint site as within a dashboard. That's a separate topic. There's a separate recording and a video on that one. Uh, but it's all rolling out gradually now at the same time, which is really, really cool. Um, but within this particular case, let's jump to the live demo and let's have a look on how does that look in practice? Uh, so everybody understands what are we talking. We were using terms like ACs and cards and all of that stuff, and not everybody is necessarily familiar with those. But let me transition to the live demo site, uh, and we'll see how, how this works in practice. Take it away, Luca. Right now, I am on the Contoso Electronic website, and I want to understand when my next paycheck will be available. So to do that, I open the uh, SharePoint agent because I'm a new employee, and I don't know where to find the information. And I ask for the information over there. Perfect. You can see that the agent recognized that I have Viva Connections enabled on this site and available for me. And it's able to find a card that can fulfill my information. Now, one of the things that we were able to uh, create here is the ability to interact with the card directly from the SharePoint agent UX. Yeah. That we believe is important because in that way you are not losing the focus and you're not losing the flow. That yep. this card is available, this element, you can click that. This card has a quick view behind it, which means that it, it can provide different additional information when you apply a gesture on this card. In this case, when you click over there. So when I click on the card, I can see that the card immediately shows the quick view directly from the uh, SharePoint Agent UX, and I can find all this information over here. 
Okay. And, and a few things to call out here. You are in a pretty zoomed status, uh, and that's why it's actually a bit scrammed, uh, because not that much information is visible. But but even the, the card will be there rendered, and the context of the quick view will be rendered there. And again, just to recap, why did this card pop up in the UX, if you scroll a bit up on the on the thing, uh, it popped up because in the company uh, dashboard, which was targeted to you as a persona, has that card called Payslip. And as we were asking about Payslip information, uh, the, the co-pilot is smart enough to understand, oh, wait a minute, so that's a great question. I could give you some random notes and, and documentation insights. But since you have this card in the Viva Connection, you probably are looking into this one uh, and gives that as a response uh, in the UX. Precisely. So we basically built that capability so that the copilot is able to understand and research for which cards are available based on the card description and the card title so that yeah. the copilot can do that kind of match. Yeah. So, and there's no changes that explicitly needed to be done on the card title and description. Of course, we we always want the card descriptions to be descriptive and you know well defined, and that helps on the copilot to finding the relevant reference point to the card as well. Um, now, correct. On this experience, there was also the button. Of course, you, you can ask additional questions. You will see different cards. It will work on any SharePoint agent, right? Was that that's the case? That is correct. Yeah, that that is correct. The plan is that we it will work with out of the box agents as well as with custom agents that were created. Yeah, that's really really cool. And then we have this Viva Connection button here uh, in the response. I think now it's a bit below because it expanded also the quick view uh, or the the second view. Um, how do, what does that do? So what does happen if I now yeah. move in between there? That's interesting. Yes, that's a very good question. So basically what it happens here is that if you want to interact even more with the Viva Connections, and imagine that again, you are a new employee, you didn't know that there was this thing called Viva Connection in your company, you want to explore what it is more, you want to understand how that card and where that card is. So by simply clicking on this button, what happens is that it opens the connection dashboard and it shows up and position yourself where the card is. And if you have seen, there was a little brief animation that was showing where the card was. And now you are here. And similarly to what you were able to do before, you can click and you can see the entire quick view here and yes. having a more uh, immersive experience. Yep, makes perfect sense. Really, really cool. This this works really nicely. And again, just to repeat again, any card type, it could be a card designer card, it could be out of the box card, it could be a custom card, and uh, that will be visible on the, available on the other side, right? That, that is absolutely correct, yes. Really, really cool. Good, uh, awesome, awesome feature. Um, and again, provides additional value for the card. So for anybody who's actually exposing and creating their card dash uh, the dashboard for Viva Connection, then the cards will be now available in the in the SharePoint agents as well, which is awesome. Now, let me actually move back on the on the talking heads a bit. And, and let's talk about a bit about uh, the future and, and the things. So you talked about that this is now working in SharePoint agents, and it will work in custom agents and in, in SharePoint out-of-the-box agents. What about the other agents? And, and surfaces. Is this only limited for SharePoint? Uh, and are we going to expand that in future? Yeah, great question. Right now, we are targeting SharePoint agents and the ability to surface that new capability in the SharePoint in interface and in the SharePoint experience. There is working that we are planning to do in order to expand that kind of capability beyond SharePoint. Right now, I do not have a timeline uh, that I can discuss. Cool. Cool. Really, really cool feature and, and awesome to see this available. Uh, and also, if we think about the other things related on cards and SharePoints, uh, they're getting more and more merged uh, because uh, pretty soon, like mentioned uh, when we started the discussion, we will have a card dashboard also in SharePoint, which enables you to have the dashboard in any site within a SharePoint. Currently, it only is available, the dashboard card is only available in the, is it home site? Or, home site is correct, right? If I remember correctly, yes. I think it's home site. Yes, because we're going to only have one home site. I think so, so. Yeah, I think they're cool. Yes. Yes. Any any other things what you can talk about in the future investments uh, in these areas, or are we do we have to wait for M365 conference and beyond to get more insights? I would say let's wait and beyond, but rest assured that we are 
uh, focusing our investments around uh, integrating with AI and compiled capabilities, uh, not just for Viva Connections and Card, but also for the SharePoint development experience in general. Absolutely, yes. Cool. But thank you, Luca, for joining. Really, really informative video uh, and a demos. And so thank you for taking the time and showcasing everybody how this works. Pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Always a pleasure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. So right now I am. <laughs> right now I am in the controls. <laughs> Last time. <laughs>